Oh, hello. Thanks for watching my video. So today we are making a video whereby we try to make the most inbred family possible. I have plenty of sims already. We're going to be making a few babies. But of course, we want to keep it in the family. So I'll start off by introducing you to who uh, the sims that we're starting with and how they're all connected. This lady here, her name's Marge, Marge Keg, and she lives here with her brother Greg, Greg Keg, and they live here with Glenn Bones and his twin sister Chanel Bones, and one other sim, this is Ellen, although based on her behaviour we're going to nickname her Lazy Ellen. She doesn't have any siblings, she's just here along for the ride. So my plan is... We're going to build some relationships and we're going to expand this family. Also, uh, this is a house that I actually built. thought I'd try something different for once. The only reason I'm telling you this is so that you know why it's unfinished. <laughs> the garden's empty and upstairs is very bare. So I just wanted to address the elephant in the room, okay? So first things first, we're going to get Glenn and Marge. You two are going to have a babe. Don't worry about waking her up, still be fine. <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't make that joke. No, wake her up, wake her up. Glenn should start thinking about further education. Mm. I don't think he's going to have the time for that Sorry. when I'm done with him. Okay, so I think let's use a few cheeky cheats, obviously. Oh. Cheat their relationship. True friends, true loves. Give her a little kiss, little, little kiss kiss. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful moment. Look at them all bashful. You won't be bashful in a minute. Okay, now you guys are lucky because I have accommodated for romance with this one bed that... Who is that? Oh, it's fucking Lazy Ellen. Lazy Ellen, you are living up to your name. All right, you know what? Fuck it. I was going to do this under the covers, but we'll, we'll do it in the shower. To be fair, everyone else in the house is going to be using that bed and... Uh, as much as I'm pro inbred family, I'm not sure how pro I am with the siblings, you know, using the same bed. You know, you've got to draw a line somewhere, says the person who had a mother and daughter woohoo in the same shower. Oh, Carly, get your priorities straight. Try for baby. Oh, wait, I just need to, just need to set her chance of conceiving at 100. Yeah, that's what we want, 100%. Oh, yeah. That's it. You woo her. You woo her. All right, come on, guys. We haven't got all day. We've got plenty of other sims to woohoo, so get in the shower, please. Please. Asking you nicely. Why did not... <laughs> no. Why are you going to sleep? I said woohoo. I said woohoo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, finally. Actually, I'm not going to say it until they're in that shower. Okay, okay. All right, now I trust you. Now I trust you're doing what I asked you to. <laughs> Thumbs up. Loving life. Well, I don't blame you, mate. You're getting your rocks off in the shower and we've only been playing for five minutes. You've done pretty well for yourself there, Glenn. Keeping track of names is going to be difficult, I feel. In fact, while they're doing that... I think Greg and Chanel could probably get to business, couldn't they? Chanel. Oh, she's right there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let's set your guys' relationships. True friends and true loves. I don't think I've ever tried to uh, procreate with cousins in The Sims 4, which is a bit of a schoolboy error. I hear most, most people probably have. No protection was used, exactly as intended. Maybe we'll even see some uh, STDs in this video. But I assume that you can do stuff with, uh, with cousins. I mean, you can legally in my home country of the UK. So if you can do it legally in the UK, why can't you do it in The Sims 4? I still can't get my head around that. That's a fact for you, in case you didn't know. I don't know what the laws are in America. I've... Never been in a situation whereby I've needed to cover my back and look it up, but 
In the UK, perfectly legal to marry your first cousin. Wait, March, March! Don't be so keen to go back to bed. Get on that toilet. Take a prego test. I know what the answer's gonna be. Oh shit though, I didn't set Chanel's... I did not set Chanel's chance of conceiving at 100, which means it's gonna be 25, which means she's gonna have to go another round. Oh, I'm sorry, Chanel. <laughs> she's still going in to sit on the toilet, despite what's going... <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna shoo there while you're... <sighs> she's not gonna be pregnant, is she? I'll check. Oh shit, she is pregnant. Even at 25%, oh wow. Good on you, Greg. Good on you, Greg. Okay, okay, so Marge is pregnant. Chanel, we just need you to sit on that toilet, love. In fact, one of them's gonna be having two kids. Which one is it that's gonna have two kids? Oh, Ellen. Ellen is the one that's gonna have two kids because neither of them are her brothers, so she's gonna have a baby with, with both. Well, based on his high success rate, I think let's get Greg over here. Greg is the man for the job. Hopefully Chanel doesn't get jealous. I mean, what does it matter if she does, really? It doesn't. She's already knocked up. What's she going to do? Leave him. She's going to tell him the good news. He's going to be thrilled. And then he's going to instantly come and knock one out in this one. Jeez, what's going on with my language today? Disgusting. He will immediately come and majestically woohoo with this fine young woman. Are they gonna woohoo? Are they gonna have their first kiss? You're looking good there. You're looking good, why is she? What are you staring at? Why are you just standing there staring at your brother? What the fuck? <laughs> She's so proud of him. She's so proud of her brother. She thought he'd never get laid. She's so pleased. And she, for some reason, goes everywhere carrying an iPhone. Why are you trying to get involved in this? It's an inbred challenge, but it's not that much of an inbred challenge. You need to fuck off. You've been a cock block. Oh, she's not. Well, you don't really get a choice in it. I'm sorry. Don't care if you're not interested. You're still getting in the shower. I love how I made a point of being like, nah, nah, I'm not going to make siblings woohoo in the same shower. It's unethical. And here I am. Well, it's because all the other sims are hogging the bed. What do you want me to do? That's it. That's it, right? Getting your little towels. Getting your little sexy business time towels. Oh, yeah. First person? First person? No, still, it's not going to let me first person. I swear I have woohooed in first person in a shower before. <laughs> but the last time I've tried doing it, it wouldn't let me. It's still not letting me do it. God damn. What does a simmer have to do? Well, I, I know the answer to that question. Install wicked whims, that's the answer to that question. All right, Ellen. No protection was used. Wouldn't it be funny if um, the same disease spreads throughout all of them and then it turns out like the siblings indirectly gave each other something not so nice. Can you get off the toilet? I didn't get that for you. Got it for the ladies. Today's the best day of your life, isn't it, mate? Yeah, I get it. Ellen, Ellen, s sit on the toilet. Watching TV, oh, si sitting down, were you? Yeah, fucking lazy Ellen. And she's the one who's got to give birth twice. Oh, we've got no chance. Oh dear, oh. All right, so since she is having two, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick her in labor. Okay, nothing to worry about. I do have some bassinets upstairs. Um, you guys are making this weird. You're making it a bit weird. I set out to do an inbred challenge and you guys have just ran with that. You are, you're taking it far. What are you doing under those sheets? Why is your arm jiggling? What are you two doing? Jesus, these sims are more into this challenge than I am. Stop. It ain't right. It ain't right. Okay, Ellen, stop sitting on your ass watching TV, have a baby, and then Glenn, you're gonna need to come here because you're gonna get her pregnant. That's it, go on, Ellen, go on, Ellen. Prove everyone wrong. Prove everyone wrong that you're not that lazy. Okay, so we have our very first link. So this is little baby Denise. 
And then Ellen, my lovely, you, you're going to have to go through that again. Soz boobs. Oh, little baby Denise. She's thinking about the baby daddy. Well, that's nice, although he didn't fucking turn up, did he? No. Not as supportive as you thought, but that's okay, because you're cheating on him anyway, so... Huh. Oh, stop with the crying. I fucking hate babies. I fucking hate babies. Not real ones. Just these pathetic excuse for babies. Denise, hurry up. Not Denise, <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> Already getting mixed up. Right, age the uh, age up Denise and then try for a baby with Greg. Oh no, not Greg. Wait, wait, what? Try for a baby with Glenn. Glenn. So just to quickly check in on the family tree, it's not too complicated right now. We have Denise. Denise has her mother Ellen, who has no other connections, and her father Greg, who is Marge's sister. Okay, so so far we just have one pawn who is the daughter of Ellen and Greg and the niece of Marge. Pretty straightforward, not too complicated. Oh, the dad's come in to look at the baby. Why don't you age it up? Age it up. Attempt to bond with Denise. Did he not want one? Oh, no, he didn't want a baby. Ah, oh, well, never mind. We don't always get what we want, do we? I didn't want to fail my driving test two times, but you know what? It happens. Oh, let's take a look at her. <laughs> Cute baby. Cute baby. We've done all right. Oh. All right, that's enough of that. Back to the sex. Are you still going? Hurry it up, for God's sake. Okay, okay. Instantly, take a pregnancy test. Take a test. Pregnant again. Oh, my God, what a surprise. What a complete surprise. Right. Chanel, let's set you in labour. And then you can come and have your baby. Ellen, we're going to stick you. Fuck it, we'll stick her in labour as well. Fuck it. But we do have to make sure we just have babies one at a time. Because if you try and have babies, um, like, two at the same time, sometimes the game just kind of does it thing, does this thing where it deletes one of the babies. So we're going to wait till Chanel's had her... God, look at her, she is proper pregnant. We're going to wait till Chanel's had hers. That's it, girl. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Okay, so she had a baby boy. And we will call him Bert. Okay, so you can go and have your baby now. And Marge, you may as well get up here. Oh, little baby Bert. You can age him up straight away. I cannot be arsed with this baby shit. Age it up. Age it up. Age it up now. Okay, and we're going to stick this one in labour. Okay, so Ellen had another girl. So she is going to be called... It. Beautiful, beautiful. Have your baby. And someone needs to age up these these babes. Look at this, it's like fucking sister wives or something. Good landing. Good landing. <laughs> Bert aged up, okay, he's gonna be silly. Silly boy. Tish aged up. She's gonna be fussy. Cause I want you guys to have a difficult life. We're just waiting for you now. Welcome wagon's not even done. Okay, another boy. And he will be affectionately called Hank. And we are going to immediately age up Hank. Be beautiful. And how are the dads getting on? Oh, they've only just come upstairs. Sorry, guys, didn't mean to bother you. We're just having all these babies. Okay, quick family check. Okay, so Greg is the father of Denise, who is also Ellen's daughter. And he's also the father of Bert, who is Chanel's son. So Bert is father to Denise and Bert, and he's also uncle to Hank. Tish is Hank's half-sister, and his dad, Glenn, is also uncle to Bert. <laughs> it's all a little bit confusing. You have to click around a little bit to join them together, but it will be a lot easier um, once they're all... Once they're all aged up. So you know what? We're just going to skip it and, and get them straight into being young adults. So you can turn into a young adult. The game doesn't like that because it's not even letting me select an aspiration. <laughs> Tish, what a fine woman you've grown up to be. They grew up so fast and they never stop having bubblegum in their mouth. Oh, that wasn't Tish. That was the other one. This is Tish. Set age, young adult. 
I'm going to give them all the romantic trait. I need all the help I can get. Okay, Bert, your turn. I am going to edit them all um, just to get the, f the bubble gum out of their mouth. Where's little Hank? Oh, you little adventurer. You've gone out on your own. Wow, Hank, you're quite the individual, aren't you? All right, I'm going to modify all these kids just so I can take the, the bubble gum out of their mouths. Oh, shit, I've just realised something. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I've just gone into create a sim which only supports eight sims which means the other sim has probably disappeared oh fuck okay i'm gonna try and teleport him if he still exists if not we're gonna have to make another baby and we're just gonna have to remember bert for the legend that he was for those 10 seconds that he lived oh no it wasn't bert that disappeared it was hank is hank gone forever <gasps> oh no Hank's gone forever. We're going to have to do it again. Oh, for fuck sake. <sighs> All right. Get in the shower. I'm so sorry about this. I'm so sorry, Marge. Get in the shower. I will always remember you, Hank. Marge is not pregnant. What the fuck are you talking about? The fuck are you talking about? She should be pregnant. Oh, for some reason it went back to default. Okay. <laughs> Get in the shower again. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. She still has a mood buff from the new baby. Uh, not anymore, huh? Oh. Okay, use the bed. Use the bed. You all right there, Chanel? She's having some lady problems. Oh, dear. It's a hard life, isn't it? Difficult being so glamorous all the time. Well, you're going to have to get out of this room because your brother is trying to get laid. Oh, you tried for a baby in the downstairs bathroom while his sister was in the bath? <laughs> Why? Just tell me why. Tell me why you and your brother have to try and make things weird for me. You're fucking sick, you sims. Okay, this one's impregnant. Go and, go and have your baby now. She still doesn't put her iPhone down. Why are you looking at your dad like that? Stop making it weird. I wonder if it's being reciprocated. Well, from this angle, it looks slightly worse. Why are you being weird, guys? Why are you being weird? All right, stop being dramatic. Just get it out. Okay, here we go again. Hank 2. Sorry about that, Hank. Wait, has she... Um... <laughs> oh, she's cramping from her menstrual... I thought for a second that she was going to tell me that she had uh, crabs. Uh, that's happened to my sims a few times. They've ended up with crabs. All right, age up, Hank. Age him up. Age him up right now. Oh, age the fucking baby up. Hank too aged up. Woohoo! Okay, we're gonna make him wild. Okay, Hank. Hank too. Sorry. Let's uh, let's turn you into an ad young adult so you can develop depression whilst always living under your brother's shadow because you could never be as good as he was and you'll never be as loved as much as he was. Not even just by your parents, but by me too. I'll always see you as second best and that's all that counts, really. Sorry about that, but that's the way life goes sometimes. You okay there, Hank too? Looks like he's going through some sort of crisis. You do know you're not Jesus, don't you? Guys, I'm a bit worried something's wrong with Hank too. Hank too? Come on, mate. I was only joking about you not being as loved. Okay, he's, he's fine now. He just needed my reassurance. I like it when my sims seek out my approval. Reinstates my position as their god. Okay, so... I think... Where's Denise? Denise? Okay, so Denise and Hank are cousins. Right? Right? Let me just check... Yeah, so Bert's her brother, Tish is her sister, so the only person she can have a baby with is Hank 2. So Denise and Hank 2, you guys are going to get jiggy with it. So why don't you come over here and give your cousin a kiss. Nice soft little kiss. Oh, she can offer a massage. Oh, has the game clocked on what I'm trying to do? Is it not going to let me? I don't think it recognises her as a cousin. Oh, come on, Sims 4, don't ruin my fun. 
She can offer him a massage. Don't be like that. If I have to force a pregnancy, then I will. If you're not going to let this happen organically, EA, I will just get the big guns out. I'll make it happen. Oh, it's not liking it. It's not liking it at all. I don't know if it's going to let me do it. It's not letting me. So that means probably Bert and Tiss won't be able to do it either. <sighs> well, that stopped me in my tracks, didn't it? So she can only offer a massage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So here's the thing. I can't force a pregnancy, so we're going to go off the beaten track a little bit. And we're going to make do with what we have. So, Tish, let's see. She's related to Glenn because he's her dad. But she is not related to Greg. So hopefully Greg and Tish can have a baby. Or Tish. Okay, yes, Greg and Tish can have a baby together. This is great. This is great. So she's going to have a baby with her sister's dad. <laughs> and her sister's going to have a baby with her dad. <laughs> Maybe this has worked out okay, actually. So you come and give your father-in-law a kiss. See, I, I don't know, but I feel like this is worse. Is it? Well, actually, no, it's not, because they're not actually biologically related. Cousins are biologically related, so that is much more weird. Okay, great success. So let's get both of you guys 100% chance of pregnancy, and we'll get you both conceiving right now. Okay, so you should now be able to try for a baby with your sister's dad. Yeah, check. And then you should be able to come up here and try for a baby with your sister's dad. I mean, we could see if Bert wants to shag his brother's mum. Wait, no, that's not... That doesn't work out, does it? Who would it be? So Bert's mum is Chanel. And Chanel's nephew, Hank 2 Keg. So I wonder if Hank 2 Keg... He probably can't do anything with his aunt. But he can have a go on his sister's mum, Ellen. Where are you, Ellen? Oh, she's out here. I want to see how far I can take this. <laughs> Come and give your half-sister's mum a kiss. It's Mother's Day. Why are you so sad? Why the fuck are you sad? Drifting love. <laughs> He's got the hump because his cousin shagged his sister's dad. <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't have a strop on. It's all right. You can shag her mum. <laughs> this is a sentence I never thought I'd say. All right. He's being too much of a mopey bollocks to carry anything out. Oh, shit. I think Bert's sad as well. He's also pissed off with his cousin. <laughs> oh, this is funny. It's funny. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a great time. Okay. I can't really get my head around doing, like, working it out right now, but I just want to see these two girls, if their babies can get together. I think not, because they're sisters, so they would be first cousins, and then we'll just be back into the position we were in before, but... I mean, fuck it, we can try, can't we? So you're in labour, go and have your baby, and then you come over here, get in, get in the line, because you're going to have a baby straight after. Okay, so she had a girl... This is going to be Sally. Sally Simmons. We like alliteration. Okay, age the, age the baby straight up. Age the baby straight up. We haven't got time for... Oh, Sally can be clingy. Aw, she's a cute kid. Although she seems pretty disappointed when she's had a look around and seen the situation she's been born into. Well, you know, it could be, could be worse. You could be starving, so keep that sulky face on we might make that a reality oh and then we have a little boy they both have the same name now that we're getting into that territory so this is going to be boris the same surname i mean all right now age up boris okay so let's take a look at the family <laughs> oh dear i think the game's a little bit confused <laughs> so apparently sally is no longer Denise's daughter. 
<laughs> Sally is actually Denise's sister. Oh, uh, well, that's what happens when you fuck each other's dads, isn't it? So we've got little little Boris down here. So Boris does show his parents as Tish and Greg. And then his grandparents up here. And then his brother Bert and his sister Denise. And then we click on Denise. And her, her genealogy is a little bit confused, I think. So what about if we click on Sally? Okay, so Sally is pretty much the same reflection, isn't it? What about if we click on him? So Glenn's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward situation. He's got three kids and one grandchild. Yeah, her T Tish's family tree is also quite messed up. It's literally this time... Th <laughs> this genealogy does not know what to do with the situation. This is the second time <laughs> we've managed to break it. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Very pleased. I could carry this on for hours, but I have a feeling this video is going to be long enough. But um, I fully intend to carry on with this. I'm going to do another video. Fuck it. We'll do another video. We'll make another family exactly the same. Uh, and we'll get them to breed with this family until we have these little fucking gashes everywhere where the game is just like, what the fuck? I'm not installing any mods to do it because... I know there are, there are mods specifically for the I word, but I'm not interested in doing that. We want to do everything above board. The whole point is to push the limitations of the game. So there we go. Lesson learned for everyone. Uh, you cannot have a baby with your first cousin, but you can have a baby with your sibling's dad. So valuable lesson learned there for everyone. A little bit of education. And this is an educational channel. So I'm going to leave this here. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.